Good morning, everybody. Today's Saturday, and I am so ready for this project. We're going to start with a quick introduction just to get you familiar with what I'm doing. So I have cut 12 wires. Actually, I, I've cut more than that, but for now, we're, I'm concentrating on 12. And this is 22 gauge wire, and this is um, 22 inches long. Okay. So we're going to keep this really, really simple. The way we're going to start is we're going to, I'm sorry, I'm trying to, okay, we're going to fold the wire in half, okay, like this, and we're going to use eight beads. Now I've chosen the greens. I've been so colorful lately. Today I decided this project should be the greens. So the way I'm going to do this, right, I'm going to put four on each side. Depending on if I want to choose a particular bead for the top, I'll put that one on first and count that as one. We'll do this green crystal as one, two, three, and... Okay. Another crystal, four, switch our wire over, and do it again. Okay, then nothing wants to fall on my, here we go, one, two, Three and four. All right. So now what I'm going to do is and line up my ends. They don't have to be perfect, but I'm trying to do it that way. And slide all eight beads down. Give them a pinch right there. They don't have to be flat together. They can have a space. It doesn't matter. It'll be beautiful. And to keep things really simple, we have eight beads, so we're going to twist eight twists. We're going to hold on to our work, and we're going to pull gently and twist. That's not a twist. That's a half a twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there you have your first one. Okay. So we do have 12 wires. Now, I'm going to do one with the bird because I don't know if I'm going to use a bird. And if I do, I would like to. I want to show you how to do it. You're going to need to put something on the wire first, unless you put your bird in the middle, which I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do it the way I have been doing it. I have a small crystal. You can use a bead and pinch it together. If you're using 24 gauge wire, you can do that as well. This is not 24. This is 22, so it's a little bit thicker. So you might have to play a little bit to get both wires through your bird. You're going to go through the top. If you want your bird in the middle of a branch, put a few beads and then put your bird. I want my bird on the top. Like that. And you push it up. We're not twisting. We're just counting eight beads. So we're going to count this bird as one. Even though there's a crystal at the top. That's just to keep him from not falling. So that was one, two, three, oops, that was four, yep, we counted the bird as one, I'm going to slide this down, see, and we're going to push it all the way up to the bird, like if you don't use a bird, it'll look like that. And if I use birds, they won't be a whole bunch. If I even use them, I don't know yet. What I'm showing you now, so count that bird as one, I don't want to use my train of thought. I'm going to be doing this on my next project, just to give you an idea. So that's two.
it doesn't have to be eight I'm just doing it that way because for me it's easier to remember eight beads eight twists you can see where I'm coming from guys I don't want to forget stuff okay so it's not a twist half a twist one two three pull gently six seven eight and now we have two and they do not have the same shape and that is just perfect if you want your bird at the top of your tree you'll go with the top like this if you want him not in the top when we twist them together he'll go low so that's a sneak peek at what we're into i'll show you what i have done so far i'm getting really close to figuring out what we're going to do with this how pretty is this going to be can you see it let me move all this out of the way this is going to be a fun project and this is probably going to be the easiest project that I've ever done. And I'm going to do it right here today with you. See you soon, guys.